Um, hey guys, what's up? It's Xcrosser here, and the other day I showed you guys the uh, structure deck Merrick opening, the deck opening. So I think the appropriate thing to do is show a Gravekeeper's deck profile, and um, it's a pretty cool deck. Tested it out with my brother. Uh, he ran a, um, what do you run? Um, he ran gadgets, and we ended up doing three matches. I won two out of those, which was surprising because I spent uh, like an hour on this deck basically but there were some choices to rather actually play Thunder Kings and Kai's but uh, some people say Thunder Kings really good for this deck but I just think it slows it down and it just gets in your way and Kai's is just annoying when you're playing something like gadgets you can never summon them out it just becomes a dead card in your hand so let's go to the deck alright so first we got a uh, uh, two cyber dragons uh, you guys know what that does. Uh, two spies to search for your um, other gravekeepers. Uh, wait, I said three, right? Yeah. Three spies. Uh, triple commandment to search out your necro valleys. Triple assailants just there, just from protection. Uh, two descendants. This guy is pointless. I hate his effect, but it's just another gravekeeper. It's basically like a crusader in a Gemini deck. It's really pointless. It does nothing. Uh, then two guards, which is really good. Uh, I love this card. And uh, Fossil Dana, just for special summoning. Our opponent just can get it. And uh, two Mystic Tomatoes to search for your other Grave Keepers. I like your Spies or your Assailants, Descendants, Guard. And uh, three Necro Valleys, the key card of the deck. Uh, gains 500 attack, 500 defense. Uh, lockdown in the graveyard. And uh, next we have three Book of Moon. Uh, then uh, one Gravekeeper cell. Uh, I'd have another one, which I was deciding earlier, uh, but I used one, and I would usually use two because I don't have a Royal Tribute, which really sucks, and don't talk about that because I don't have a Royal Tribute. <laughs> and uh, three Smashings, basically simple. Uh, then we have, of course, the uh, two MSTs, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn. These two are not really great in this deck, but just something to have to start or end the game with. And uh, two tr uh, three trap pulls, one on one for one. Uh, two bottomless, two dimensional prison. They're all one for one cards. And lastly, we have the solemn, the mirror force, and punch. And so yeah, that was the deck, guys. Um, Grave keepers, pretty cool. Uh, the key point is to just summon out Necro Valley as fast as you can and storm the field. And yeah, and you have some book moons and smashing grounds to help you out. And it's a pretty cool deck guys, um, that's pretty much it for this video, a comment below on this deck and how you guys think of it, and yeah, that's it, so peace out guys.